with your hand. Yep. Look at my little golf cart, everybody. What do you think, Ace? We just bought this little sucker. It's just next super cheap, wore out. It's like a 1997, I think. And uh, It reminds me of MASH. I like it because it's just old and beat up. We can throw anything in it. It was just... Yeah. Hey, Jason. Yeah. It was like, what, $1,800 or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. So... Um, they're getting ready to pull that one out right there mm -hmm. where the forklift is. And that one's coming out of here. Mm -hmm. And you can see everybody's in full work mode. We have got like three foot in front of that when he's got a spin. We're in a, hey, we're in a tight we're spot. We're in a tight spot. Yeah. All right, we're going to back up. We've got a few things I want to show you. And Joseph is building one with a porch. See how there's no metal on the back end of that? Right. That's going to have a pressure treated porch on the back, a covered porch. So this is a 10 by 36, I believe? Yeah. Okay. So 10 by 36. There's Joseph. He will build this whole thing by himself. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joseph known, I always say I've known him before he was born. You did? Yeah, I did. I'm telling how many houses he's built. Oh, he's, he's an excellent carpenter. Excellent. Yep. So we're going to back out of here and let them guys kind of pull that outside. We're going to do a, a walkthrough and show you this house. Also, while we're here, we have, and I know we've got some frustrated ESP because we thought we could get these things out of here, and we've been running through just the procedures and how to get these things done. Um, Lord, where's all these people come from? Oh, they're the waiting on the house. All they're three the of them? Yeah, they all came in the truck together. Well, I'll be darned. I've never seen three in one. Well, it's a professional outfit, Oh, they're baby. professional outfit. <laughs> I mean, it ain't like us. Okay. <laughs> it ain't like here. I always do solos. They're getting ready to pull it out. All right. So, let me show you. These houses. This almost done. Yeah, we have got. We're going to do a. We're going to do a. Let me turn that radio off. Yeah. But we're going to do and show all the owners of these things where they're at in stages and let them know. Let me turn this radio down here. Hey, 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 hey. I'll be talking while these guys are talking. There we go. Full vaccination. That's right. All right. So from waiting on parts, from uh, the, work, the workers that we had, we had to train, teach. We've had to thin through them, who's performing, who's not. Um, so now let me show you where we're at. I think these two are the ones ready to go. They're putting in the countertops, the sinks, and everything. Mm -hmm. This one, just pop a door yep. in. Let's go in here and look at them, Amanda. Okay. This is our stucco. It's a synthetic stucco. Let me give this to uh, this hauler real quick. Yeah. Will you go hand that to him, the guy in the hat? Yep. The guy in the hat. Are you the boss, man? <laughs> there you go, buddy. Paperwork. Paperwork. Yeah. There you go. Okay. They're yeah, getting ready to pull it out. Okay. So look at this stucco here. Man, I'm loving this right here. Look at look at this texture. Oh yeah, that's nice. Come here, Ace. And I'm talking this is one billion percent, I should say, maintenance free. They did an excellent job, Amanda. This is eight by twenty four Mitchell. This is eight by twenty four Mitchell. Yep, we're gonna just clean it up, but the outside is done. It's taken a while to get this stucco technique down. Yeah. All right, we have some of these we've been over three and four times, and so you know people paid twenty-five grand for these, unbelievable price, eight by twenty-four with a dormer, full kitchen, full bathroom, loft, everything in this thing, a ladder, water heater, you name it, you can live in this home. For 25 and I know people have been very patient on us for us learning what we're doing and I always want to say it is better for us to build these in one day than it takes as long as we've been building these things and we want to get them out believe me we want to get these out faster than you ever thought it is our main objective everything there's just a lot of moving parts not just to building them but to life and working and we are constantly trying to tweak these things to be more efficient yeah Let's, Amanda, let me poke my head in here. Um, come on in, Amanda. Oh, this is just, I love them. 
I, I'm absolutely in love with these homes, and I'm going to tell you why. Let me see wow, here. Wow, it quite opens it up, don't it? Yeah. I got a speaker here. Uh, let's see if I can turn that down. Look at this. How do you do that? I don't know. Oh, here's a minus. There you go. There he goes. All right. So, what we've changed a little bit, we've changed some things on these ESPs. All right. So, ESP, for everybody who's not been following us, is a foam panel. Okay. It's metal and metal and foam on the inside, which is closed cell um, uh, spray foam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Inside these two panels. They've been engineered by two states, the Kentucky and North Carolina, because the company that we're building with these got their design um, engineered and approved, mm -hmm. okay? So we sent that paperwork to our uh, inspection agency that we work with, they've accepted it, so we're able to ANSI these, all right? So the challenges of building these things, well, let me say the pros, the pros is that all the walls, the components, the roof, all these are built in a room, all right, in a, in a separate building. And we throw the wall up, the roof up, it's just like boom, 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 and put them together. Quick. Love how all that works. The challenging part is this, like, look at this electrical. Now, they've really, we've come a long way because before we had this trough that went through here, they're changing them now. See, there's nothing and they flush mount the lights. We're getting better, so I hope that just be patient with us in getting these homes. I know you need these homes, but we're getting better and better as we go. These are flush mount. We have to. We had to actually perform this, you know, microwave stand and range hood, and it has electrical running up to it. That's why these wires are really long. They'll come up and put a plug. Well, I don't want to recess plugs into this foam wall because then it, we're going to dig out most of the foam and behind the plug the actual box will just be metal right so there's no r value in the back of that box but look at the beautiful stucco we have come so far in getting these things i love it i love how it looks now the flooring is down you can see we're protecting the flooring the plugs and when we first did them we were putting plugs in the floor mm -hmm. never thought that it would be a problem so we have to change them and put them on the wall now. And that's what we're doing. We're putting them along the baseboard. So as we do is we create this baseboard. It's about two inches thick and it allows the plug box to be recessed inside of this base. So we have to put the flooring down, then we put the base down. As you can also see. So, so with saying that, there is some wood now in the house. I'm starting to add even more wood yeah. than what you see. Okay. We're starting to trim out some windows. And it's just for looks, for but looks. it's hard to make that line right here mm -hmm. real pretty, you know, yeah. real nice mm -hmm. and neat. And so the guys were saying, hey, let's trim these out with wood. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. We're also in the future trimming out this trough across the top, um, door jams, the barn wood door. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to put some wood around the doors, right? And some trim because stuccoing these little areas is really hard to do mm -hmm. also what you're going to love is the exterior we're starting to put soffits and faces and gutters and all that stuff on them all right okay. so and that's no extra cost on these homes that weren't for the deal we're putting them on there because i personally think they look better they um they bring that warmth of wood and stucco together so it's not just one full color that way you can paint your wood in your corners or stain it or urethane it and give it a whole different look. Look at the storage up there. Oh, man. That is crazy. Let me go up this ladder just a few tabs to show. Yeah. And you got a full lock. That's a look full bedroom. That. That's all storage up yep. there. Water heater will go there. Yep. In all reality, how long does it take on average to stucco inside and out? It's lengthy. It's it's almost four days, four to five days. But that's staying on. Yeah, and then, then, and, and it's going to cut down a little bit because we're going to use more wood trim, so we don't have to get into the nooks and crannies with the stucco. And then we actually have, you know, like 
Juliana comes in here, she details it, sands it. Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's some stuff. We, now, we, what gets done with this floor up here? It stays like that. Now, the flooring, we never did anything that just stays like that. We're telling folks buy carpet, buy rugs, some, some kind of something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We can add flooring to it, but that wasn't included in the cost no, of the $25,000 house. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good, good. But it does include the wood. Everything you see right here is part of the deal. Okay. These beautiful brand new cabinets, Manda. That's the matrix. Cabinet, They're all right? wood. Yeah. Wood shelving, wood doors, wood everything. All right. Mm -hmm. So these are durable, nice, strong. You know. I think out of, I can't remember how many we had. Um, do you remember total? Was it 20 of the 8x24s or how many did we sell the 8x24s? 20, 20, I thought. 20 or something like that. Anyway, we're only down, we've got about, what, seven left? That's maybe it. Maybe to do. We'll get them out of here. Yeah. Yep. And then we go to our 30s, our 10 we by 30s. 10 by 20s. And we've already got. Or 10 by 20s. The 10 by 20s. The 10 by 20s, we've got four in Kentucky and I think eight or nine, ten here. So we got half of them done. What? Is it coming we'll out? It's coming oh, let's out. Let's go. Let's yes. go watch it. Probably want to tell them what we're. Boo. I just didn't want to miss it coming out. Oh yeah, look here. So here comes, this is an ESP home. All right, this is an ESP panel Which home. it doesn't look like an ESP home. Nope. Maybe. And we have put wood on the outside. Wow. Wood on the inside. Is that not cool? Wow, it looks great. Eight by 24. Eight by 24, double dormer, floodlights. I mean, it's got everything. Look at this. Mini split. The owners were here yesterday. So this is a board and batten. Man, that's a sharp looking home, isn't it? Man, to look at that thing. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? So we got TNG up in the gables. We did find a floodlight on there. Okay, good. Did ya? <laughs> well, good. The picture window on this side. These haulers, I don't think they've ever hauled a tiny home before. I don't you know think what? so. No, they said it's, they're doing it as a favor. Uh, oh, that's thing. cool. Yeah. Good. And it's going to Bristol. You never hauled a tiny home before, have you? Well, we've hauled them on our land all, so we've got a, a company. We move a lot of equipment and things. Yeah. We've land all we've moved one on. But. Yeah. Tires up pretty tight on them. Yeah, it's pretty good. What's that? Is the tires up on them pretty tight? It looks like it already looks like it's pretty good. That's nice. Yeah. That's a nice little house. Yeah. That's something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We were thinking about yeah. having a mobile office. We yeah. We do a lot of towing lots. Oh, sure, man. Well, we build these these foam panel homes like that right there. Yeah. Oh, that'd be the... That big window there, it would work good. Yeah, just draw something up and we'll I'll price it for you. For sure. Did you want to go inside real quick? If we can. Let's see if the door's open. Okay. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, Dan. Look at this big picture window, Amanda. Let me point there. let me point something out here. Yeah. All right, let me show you guys. Because this is a foam panel house, you see this trough here? This and goes down. That's the line set. That's the the coolant lines because there's no 2 by 4 walls to put it in, right? No. Big picture window. Let me crawl up in here. Yeah, here let me you got the thing. Okay. No, All right. you stay ace. So, the cabinets didn't come in in time. All right, so what we're doing, they needed their house, they're gonna take it home, they're gonna start painting and staining and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So this is an eight by 24. There's the dark flooring, the kitchen countertop. They've got their sink. Over there's the kitchen. Everything's set and ready to go. They just gotta wait for the cabinets to come in, I think next week, and we'll go up there. They're a local family, so we can go up there and we can actually 
put the cabinets in for them. We built the soffit with the lights, washer and dryer, eight by 24, everybody. This was an ESP, they added wood to the house, as you can see. Barn door, I'm gonna check to see if that barn door has been secured. Toilet, I'm gonna take that lid off of that. Lights, remember this is an ESP panel home and this is all covered in wood. I don't know the actual benefits of taking an ESP and covering it with wood. You can see there, there's no two by fours. Um, or why not get a stud framed home, but I think it may come out a few thousand dollars cheaper. But if, if I was gonna wanna cover it with all wood inside and out, I think I would rather secure a stick framed house, okay? I think I'd rather do that if we're gonna cover it. Even if you're gonna save a couple thousand we just don't have the longevity of what it's like to put these on here. Let me show you what we've done. Actually, see these? All right, these are finish screws that we've had to use to put in the V-groove. Normally, the nails are hidden inside the tongue so you don't see them. Here, we've had to finish them. There's glue behind here, all glue behind it, and then we've got you know these screws. So it's on there, but you gotta contend with them. The homeowner loved them. She said, no problem, they'll sand them, fill them. They're good with all this, all right? So there you have it, little storage under the stairs. Let me go back here one more time. Oh, let me get this big picture window. Isn't that not cool? Yep, AC unit. Now we had to put the AC unit here. Now think about this design. Only space is here, all right? You, want, you don't want it up there. Um, here's the kitchen and the steps. So you got the steps. You don't want your AC unit anywhere near your steps because you got headroom. We may have been able to put it here, but it would have been in the kitchen, right? You don't want it uh, back over the stove, right? Or up in this loft here area. So there was, we probably may have been able to put it up there, but we chose to go down low. I've talked to a manufacturer, the height from the floor up and the distance and so, but the biggest thing in a tiny home is to keep this air flowing. You've got to keep the ceiling fans rolling, get this air flowing all over, because that unit is big enough to heat and cool three of these, okay? This is uh, less than 200 square feet. A mini split can be up to 600 square feet of space. So wash and dryer, bathroom. Let me go to the bathroom one more time. There's your toilet, real simple bathroom, toilet, and a shower. And then right behind here is the kitchen. So this is an RJO layout, right? When they have an L-shaped kitchen, and then they just put a 24 footer with stairs in the living room. So I hope this young lady loves her home. She's a young girl. She actually saved all of her money, bought it herself. And I told her mama, you've got to be so proud of her that she saved and bought this house all by herself, 20 years old. Isn't that cool, everybody? All right, let's get outside here. They're gonna get ready to leave. There's your keys. I left the keys in the door, y'all. I'm gonna lock it up. Hey, you know what? Let me check the toilet seat back there. I like to take the lids off. I'm gonna check that barn door and maybe lay it in the floor. Okay. Let me look at that and I'll be right back. Oh, you did? And that toilet, could you take the toilet lid off the back? Okay. Look here, listen to her. Listen, listen to her again. Get over here. <laughs> this one right here? Yeah. Mm. Well, Jack. You're going to jack him. I'm going to jack him. to load off Randy. Listen to her complain. Everybody, they distribute it to the Amanda evenly. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, we're yeah, good. How'd it look in there? Good. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. I just love the look. It's so tight looking. Yeah. Doesn't it look strong and tight and straight lines? Yeah. And just pretty, man. Yeah, it looks good. You know, the young lady that come here yesterday that bought it, her and her mom came here. She wasn't very expressive, you know, and that's right. fine. Um, but they thought it was a lot smaller. Right. She'd never been in a tiny home, Manda. And, and, and bought one. And yeah. Bought and one. I told her, I said, listen, you got to give it some time. Yeah. You get in there and you get your stuff in there and you actually start thinking about what do I really need to do to live in here? Mm -hmm. You know, and you'll realize you didn't need as much because she's coming from a home, right? And going straight into a tiny. That's right. Walking right. in there is going to freak her out, and I know it would. But that big picture window is overlooking 
a big, beautiful lake. Yeah. Well, and I'd like to say a uh, shout out to Jason Campbell. Yeah. Who was up there. That's the only reason they knew about Jason us. built a house with us uh, a couple of years Joseph ago. Built three, that house. three years ago or more. Yep. And uh, he's he's up on that lake lot. He's beautiful a house. he's a chef. I think it's yes. Lakeview Marina. I probably messed it up, but I think it's Lakeview <laughs> Marina up in Bristol, yeah. Tennessee. Gorgeous, everybody. If Beautiful. you have never been to East Tennessee, yeah. from Bristol to here, it is a gorgeous, big lakes, marinas, water, it, trees, it's just, yeah. Hey, real quick, I didn't know if you need to get with them before that. They've never took it. I didn't see that the, uh, the fan was strapped off. Will that break? Okay. Take, hey, how about that fan in fan the globe? They're not going cross country. Yeah, I think she said Bristol. Let, do what? I think she said Bristol. Let me grab one. Yeah, let's just get the globe off of there, yeah. and the fan will be okay, because if we go long distance, we like to tie them off. Yeah. Let me tell them. We're going to take a globe off that fan, okay. and that'll be about all we need to do. A lot of times they drop, they'll bust, they'll come off. Amanda, where's your card at? Right over here. All right. Thank you, guys. Nice, nice, nice. Right here. I put us in the shade. <laughs> okay. All right. I would like to do, a, I'd like to keep videoing, if you don't mind, and go across the street. Oh, okay. Let's Can do we that. do that? Yeah. All right. We need to get the other golf cart. Yes. Jump has done some really good big digging over there, mm -hmm. and I really like to show everybody what it looks okay, like. Okay, let's do that. Come on. All right. We got to put Ace up. Ace up. <laughs> What's an ace up? Ace up. All right, let's see here. My old golf cart. Which really, it's Dennis's. This is Dennis's. It's gonna be. Look, he wants the upscale one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, that's a nice truck. It is a nice truck. Now tomorrow. The hillbilly house is leaving from yeah. here and going to Texas. We got to go through it. I got to show it again. You know what? Oh yeah, we got to go through it one more time. Mm -hmm. I hate to see it go. Oh, listen, Wayne has probably got a, the most beautiful place to put that hillbilly house. Oh, I bet. Oh, good. They got that loaded back up. Okay. Yep. Where's our card at? Uh, right, well, I don't know. I bet they're taking uh, customers. Hey, they had two of them. Well, I bet they got both of them. Let's see. They got both. Let's, let's come to the Duramax. Tom, where's your Duramax? Oh, right there. Is the keys in it? Yeah. Okay, let's go, Amanda. Plain Jane, huh? <laughs> it looks like from Mash. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, How come that felt like that too? I felt it I looked did. at it. As it was so as, simple. As soon as I saw it, I was like, that's Randy right there. What the simple? A simple thing. Tom, will you help her up in there, buddy? Yeah. There's machines everywhere. Come here, Ace. Okay. Here. Hold on. <laughs> Come here, Ace. Come here. Where'd he go? Ace. I don't know. Where'd you go, buddy? I don't see him. All right. He must have took off. If he did, he'll. We'll leave him here. Okay. All right, this is an old Duramax that we bought from Matt. We really traded it a long time ago in on a house. Yeah. <laughs> we do a lot of trading and stuff here, don't we? Man, whatever it takes. He's in the other golf car waiting on us. He's over there waiting for Oh, Randy. man. Go get him. Are you serious? Yeah, he's over there sitting in the golf He's Here he comes. Is he coming? Yes. I yelled for him. Ace!
Come on, Ace. I'm gonna get out of this water. Come on. Good boy. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Get up here, buddy. Come on. Go. Oh, Lord. Get up here. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. What? He's, Lord. Roll down your window a little bit. Well, I, okay. Well, okay. I got it in my hands. Look at him on this. All right. There it goes. There goes the house right there. Do you care if Terry fixes my tire? I got another flat tire. No, I haven't fixed it. I do too. Okay, you look great. You have to. No. Yeah, okay. go ahead. And there goes the house. <laughs> Where are you at? <laughs> I know it. I'm always just... Always nervous when these houses leave. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Every every one I've ever done. So I'm now always they've never pulled nervous. a tiny house. <sighs> That'll be an experience for them. Won't yeah, it? it is. It's they're going about two hours away, right? It'll take them a couple hours, hour and a half. Yeah. Look at the prairie how it's coming along. Oh I know. Look at the it is. They got one whole section done. Hey, guys. That's awesome. Yeah. So we're going to go across the street. We have 160 acres. We call the mountain now. Yeah. And we've been doing some road digging. This is our next venture. We'll be heading from the prairie. We're actually already over there working. They <laughs> split up our, our crew. There they go, Randy. Yep. There it goes. Heading to Bristol. But don't lick the phone. He he just licked the whole front of the phone. <laughs> All right. All right, Ace. Oh, he loves the mountain over there. There's so much room. Look at him sitting here. You ready to go to the mountain, buddy? Yep. Yeah. So this is the mountain, my left. We haven't touched any of this. We're actually using it for more staging of burning our uh, brush and trees that we're bringing out. This is a we're going to reclaim all this and turn it into a beautiful mountain resort. Really, the gate may be closed, man. I have to get out and open it. Oh, it's open. It's open. There we go. Yep, been over here digging. Oh, hang on, buddy. Hold on, pumpkin. Yeah, yumps over here. I'm gonna let him out. Yeah. So he can run. All right, buddy, come on. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. What's well, nice? Tom got the AC uh, fixed, didn't he? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got three little home sites right here. We got one right here. Right on the edge of the road, I yeah, love, I just love that lot. There's two more back in this driveway. Yeah. Okay. Look at him, oh, there he took off. Look how pretty this is, Randy. That's beautiful. When we get this side done, we'll have over 230 home sites. Wow. There he came, he made a loop around. Oh, yep, so far working. Yeah. Let's see what we, if we can't, we'll go in four wheel drive here. Let's see. Let's see what that does. A little mucky. All right. Now there's lots on both sides. We haven't cut any of the lots, so we're doing all the road roads first. Then we'll cut all the lots in, so we can put start putting the sewer. The reason I'm trying to get this engineered now is it takes so much time to go through the state for approval, the prints of it. And then actually bringing the sewer up the main highway or the state road, county road, to the property. I've never done that before in developing, you know. That's exciting. Yeah. That's a challenge, ain't it? It is. I'm wondering how that's going to happen. 
Um, Yump's dug this road. You can see his machine up there. Oh, he's up there. So we're going to go. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's up there. We're going to go up there. Woo. I'm going to go back around and show you this part. Okay? Yeah. We've, we've done this video several times. Now, there's homes along the side here on the left, home sites. And they're going to be perched right on the side of this mountain. And we're going to come in here and grab a driveway and a level spot. Look at him running through the woods up there. I mean, having a fit. Yeah. And then on the right side, eventually what I want to do is build some, just some little stilt homes that would be a beautiful Airbnb. And you can see through the trees the mountains yes. and the view out through there. And this road will There's dead end. There's a lot end. right there I'm looking at. Yeah. I got little flags where all the mm -hmm. lots will be. I see. So this is a dead end where we'll be here. Now, I'll probably push this road straight and have a house right at the end of the road. That'd be cool, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, all right. Let me, can I get out and just kind of show while you turn around? Yeah. Just I'm gonna just going to back up. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. I mean, we can stop and get out. God, it's pretty. You know, and I have to say, uh, Kristen Gall had another great idea. She actually had the suggestion of naming the resort here the mountain, okay? Yep. She sent in an email about another suggestion, which I kind of thought was a great idea, was to name the roads after mountains. Mount, oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Now, that's not a set in stone. Let me stone. move your arm so I can see. Hey, okay. can you bring that mirror down a little bit so yeah. I can see? This is the glass part. Oh. And in. Perfect. But I kind of thought that was kind of cool. That's not set in stone, but that was a great suggestion. Yeah, it was. I like that. Mm -hmm. I know you like mountains and everything. Oh. I love mountains. Who doesn't? Mountains and beach, right? I mean, that's what everybody, everybody goes to the beach every year in the wintertime to go to the mountain. Look at that, Amanda. Tell you what are you doing, buddy? I ain't no use over here. Yeah. All right, let's go up here. This is not the final grade. <laughs> and see what we got, Amanda. Oh, we're going up. Did you want to walk up? Can we go up? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, God. Well, what if we can? What happens? Oh, my gosh. Are we going to... That's nice. Oh, my God. Can we make... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this... Oh, gosh. I don't yes. know. Now, well, we can always back out. Okay, well, I didn't know if it's going to... Is it... Well, oh. Now, I'm not backing down with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, we got to get out. All right, yes. let's look at this. Now we're on top of another ridge, and we're not at the top of the mountain. we got a long way to go. This is way more than I in, ever envisioned or intended to do over here on this mountain, Manda. This is crazy. Way more. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is coming up here. This we're on a ridge now. All right. A ridge. Tennessee. They call them Tennessee Ridge Runners. Yeah. So all our mountains run long, and they've got ridges. Of course, is the top, mm -hmm. and it runs long ways. So as you come up here, this ridge runs right out through there, probably 200 feet. Right. We'll get a couple, probably four or five homes up here oh on both my sides. Oh, it's beautiful up here. Oh, it's, it is cool. So nice. Now, so when you come up to the top of this, we access the ridge, we go to the right, and now we go to the left, and that's where Yump's digging. Yeah. So let's walk up through there a little bit and okay. see what he's done. Okay. What we're doing is we're like, I didn't want to come up here. It's money to come up the mountain, right? It is. But what we need is this. And this is road building slate. Yeah. And we need it for road building. We found that we had a ton of topsoil, which that pile is topsoil. So when we, when we excavate, you always have topsoil, of course, on the top, right? Mm -hmm. That needs to be stripped, set aside. Then you dig down and hopefully you got some good dirt for road building. Those are perfect, compacts. It lets the water run through. And they're strong, too. Strong. It lets water filtrate. It's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. The topsoil that we've had down in the bottom. Now look, 
See, this, there it is. Yeah, Look. well, that's good slate. But yep. see, see that right there? Yeah. You see how it turned colors? Yeah. That's all topsoil. Yes, it is. No good. Gosh. So we're going to. for a road. We'll actually probably take this road down a little bit more and adjust the, the elevation of it. Yeah. But we're needing topsoil. I mean, we're needing slate. And that's right here, see how compacted that is? Yeah, it feels strong. And down there you can see our marks in the road and it's topsoil. Yeah. So all that, you think about it, topsoil is being moved twice. You move it over here to get out of your way or put it in the truck, you're dumping it, then you're going to use it somewhere else. We've got a lot of topsoil. But we need topsoil on the farm, on the garden areas, all that stuff. Um, I don't know. Come on up here. Let's do a short little clip and then we'll get out. So Yump and I have been working together probably, I don't know, is it 20? Almost 30 years. 30. No, probably 25. No, his boy is, his boy is 25, so yeah, we've been about 25, 26 years we've known each other. Yep. Come on up this way, Amanda. Come on, Ace. Watch out, buddy. Look at this road. Is that the part you were saying might be a little too steep? Yeah. So you want to start falling off the side? Alright. And then you're just going to hit a... If it keeps climbing, you'll just hit a... If you take it down, it'll just hit a wall, won't you? Then fall off to the side or something. Really? Right. Because if you go up there, I've walked, you go up to top and then it goes back down this way. So you could actually cut to the left and catch catch it up over on the left over there. <clears throat> but we'll see it when the leaves turn if we ever want to do it. You know? You see that, Amanda? So this is so this is stripping, stripping all the topsoil, all the vegetation. Let's get up here just a little bit more. You got your flip flops. I got on. my brand new flip flops on this morning. I knew better. <clears throat> Alright, so we talked before. He pushes the trees down. Roots, stumps, all of it is pushed down. You see all these roots in the ground? All this will be pulled up, Manda. There won't be any vegetation in this road. There also won't be any trash, trees, nothing on the sides of the roads. It's cut up, <clears throat> topped off, and we haul them out of here and we burn them. It's a lot of money because most builders or developers would push them down in that mountain and in the fall of the year, you're going to see a bunch of just trash trees piled up. It causes a mess. Too, it right? causes a mess. Well, it causes voids. A lot, of, a lot of them will use them on their banks, push dirt on them, and they think they got a road until it starts rotting and then the roads give way. Mm. But this is the whole, look at, I'm going to just walk up, you can stay here. I'm going to just show them a little bit. This is good soil. There's not a lot of topsoil. Here's the topsoil, here's the slate right here. Great building. Now, that's pretty steep right there. But what I've done in the past when I built homes is we built platforms. And what I love is these tiny homes are so they're, they're little and they're not they're lightweight we can come down below this and dig us a little road right all the way up beside there and put footings up with poles and then we come up here and dig a little footer and we put joists out here and then we build platforms to put tiny homes so instead of laying block and doing all these retaining walls and all that stuff we have done those platforms back in the resort I owned that's on a steep face over here it's not as much steep we can use dirt and we can compact it and build the fill up and then we just park the houses out there but as wide as this road is what i see 
parking on the road, house on the, house on the still. Parking on the road, house on the still. This is real confined. Then you can drive right on up. 160 acres. I can't begin to tell you how much everything's gonna look here. The, the amount of road distance, walking, trails. Uh, we haven't even come to 25% of this mountain yet. And we, you see what you see when we drove up here, 25% and we're heading up that way. This is the years to come. We're not looking at building homes right here. We're gonna get there in the years. All of our home sites are down below. Um, the highest we come is coming up that one driveway. We haven't laid any lots out on this ridge whatsoever. If we get a lot of people, people want to keep building, we'll keep developing. Right now, I think we've got 47 home sites, almost 50. Something like that. <clears throat> We sold a couple yesterday, so I really don't know what's how many we all have in here. But yeah, we got to get a total of it. Yeah, we need to, now we start need to do an, a weekly total because yeah. uh, Kelly asked yesterday, and I think Will and Becky did, <clears throat> said, "Are we still selling lots?" Yeah. So we got to get a total. So what we want to do, we want to keep you all abreast of our ESP homes, mm -hmm. the time frame of construction and completion date, all of our ESP specials that we sold, then all of our custom homes that are on a regular build list. We're going to tell you where you're at. Of a, a estimated completion drawings we're gonna let you know on that okay um, and then the completion of the prairie the beach has got five six lots for electric the rest it's done and then the mountain well the prairie the prairie is all electrical you can see what we're doing on the prairie so we're gonna keep we got a lot going on so we're gonna keep you in line of what's happening so you're not wondering what's going and that's why we bring these videos to you all the time too as soon as Yump moves uh, Ace, Ace thinks it's his job to go find him. Like, what's he doing? And he's right he's there. Right, right there. Look. That is a working dog. Look at him. Well, it's something to do with that tracks. Yeah. And he's just on them. They yeah. say he gets right. He got to wait for him to move. I know. He's Ace, not, Ace costs money. He's like me. He costs money. He's not scared of guns. No. Mm -mm. Loud noises, machinery. He's been around it since he's a pup. Oh, he. When he was eight weeks old, I had him around the machines. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> it is cool up it's here. It's so cool. I was just about to mention how the temperature wow. it is, and Ace was laying in this good cool dirt yeah oh my god he's in hog heaven here this is really nice oh it's this is fantastic you know here we're again and we're showing you something that's it seems like all we ever do is show you rough 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 you it's know okay. it's beautiful and, though <laughs> randy the before is just to then when you see the after yeah i mean it's pretty now. like the forest yeah it's pretty yeah. now think about what it's gonna be yeah we're putting up a big fence Still, right now we're digging holes for the big fence to go around the, the whole warehouse to give us privacy, the, the uh, customers or the uh, patrons or people that live here, privacy. And um, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a living wall that we're, yes. Yump said, put chicken wire and all that stuff yes. on it. We'll have vines and all kinds of and cool stuff grow. growing on it. Yeah, it's going to look neat. Yep, so you want to call it a quits up here or you want to ride back we'll down? We'll probably ride back down. Okay. Yeah. You all right? Walking with your flip flops. I, know. I got my, my brand new flip flops. And they're pink. I didn't know we were coming over here. I should have known better. I got to wear different shoes. Well, people ask me, why don't you wear shorts? You know, oh, I'm like every day I'm can. crawling around on the concrete or I'm up in the woods and man. Look at that. I mean, he's got his tail right there in the middle. He's gonna get scooped up him, okay? <laughs> you know. Are you working, buddy? Are you working? Yeah. Just watch his watch him work. It's it's neat to watch him work, man. Art it, he's he's a complete artist with this. 
machine. So what he's doing, he'll strip. There you go. Oh, watch this. So he needs to dig a little bit more. He needs to dig a little bit more out of that. Yeah. So he's trying to bust the roots out of it. Ah! Wow! That's cool! Well, we didn't want that to happen, but... Oh, was that bad? Yeah, because usually the roots come out with it. Yeah, now he's got to pop them and dig the roots up. Yep. So he'll get in there and dig all the roots, pull the stump. We don't leave stumps, we don't leave trees, we don't leave any scrap anywhere. You ready? There you go. You don't have to hide your face. Come on, Ace! Come on, boy. Get up there. Go on. All right, I'm going to watch you back down. All right. Look at him get my feet. What do you say, buddy? We'll go all the way down. Let's see. Do you want to come in or you want to... What do you want to do, Amanda? Okay. We'll go all the way down, buddy. What do you think, Ace? I want man to look at this view right here. Hey, get that view right there! Show that view right up through there. Okay. That view. All right. Look at him. He ain't on no more care than nothing. Here. Where in the world am I going to see it? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. Sit here and share it with the dog. Look at you. All right, here we go. You got hot, didn't you, buddy? Hot to try. All right, so there's houses on both sides of this road. Look at look at the view right there. You can see the tomato farm. <laughs> Hang on, Amanda. You're eating a windshield. I'm like, okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Can you draw it in? Hold on. I got to move my hand. Look at there. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? What a view. Yeah. Now... Okay. So this is a new road we cut in and probably got, I'd say, about 15 more home sites right here. Oh, can you go through there now? Yeah, I think we can. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Now, he's not done with the road, of course. You can see how he stripped the vegetation. Mm -hmm. And then as far up as he has, he'll slope it back down, all right? So our roads are about 
16 foot wide. These Houses are on both sides. These are one way roads. Right. Yeah, these are one way streets. All topsoil. That's oh, crazy. Uh, yeah. We were just over here last week or week four last. Yeah. Look at here, we can drive through. Oh, yeah. Nice. Isn't that pretty? Woohoohoo. Houses on both sides. Now, this is where they get to choose. This is a part of the choosing. Oh, part. yeah. This is all lots in here, man. There are beautiful lots in here. Boy. Yep. Boy, oh, boy. Yep, and these will be one-way roads. Yes, that's exciting. Yep. Yeah. So we're thinking about taking to the right and making a one-way road to the left and go out to the main industrial road, mm -hmm. you know? Can you show down that way? We're yeah. going down that way. Yeah, we'll go down okay. that way. Oh, all, my God, I'm loving it here. Now, all this, see all this vegetation here? Yeah. That's topsoil we dug out in the winter, wow. back in January. Look yeah. at all the look, look at all that's growth. The, all the growth on it's already. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look at this. Oh my goodness, what a pretty place! It's coming together, man. This is beautiful. Back to your right, where you're showing all these woods to the right of the road, mm -hmm. is flatland. There's an old barn in the woods. It's 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 awesome. There's just so much potential. Still, we haven't even tapped. All we're doing is cutting roads. You wait till we start cutting house Let sites in, cleaning everything up. Yeah. I love this. Looks like a tunnel. Yes. To the left. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Look at there. I don't want to name this video. Yeah. Maybe 230 tiny house sites and counting. <laughs> yeah, let me show up there. Hey, show up through there. there That's we where, we where we just went up and yep. came back halfway down. Okay. Mm -hmm. House sites right here on the corner. This is a beautiful corner lot right here. Oh, yeah. Nice corner lot, man. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. This place is called The Mountain. We're in Newport, Tennessee. Come see us, call us, make an appointment. We would love to show you what we're doing here. And everybody, I wanna let you know that we do not have million dollar investors. Nope. We don't have a bank loan. Nope. We don't have any money Nothing. from an outside source other than building tiny homes mm -hmm. from our customers. Yep, that's it. That's the only way we've made this that's happen. It. So I can't thank you enough for the people who have believed in our dream, what we've wanted to do. We actually started this because people wanted it. Mm -hmm. really, I didn't really want to buy this land. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had such an interest in what are you going to do next? So we bought the land across the street. It's super convenient, of course. And here we are. Um, it is a lot of, uh, it's a lot of burden, financial burden, a lot of energy to make this happen. We had a big farmhouse here contending with just everything, the infrastructure. And then it's always, you're always scared. It's like, ah, oh, is it going to cost more than what you think? And it normally the does. The answer is yes. And it normally does. <laughs> the answer yeah. is yes. Even if you have it budgeted out down to the nickel and dime, yeah, there is stuff that happens that you have no idea that no it's going to happen. No. Who and knew that a pandemic was coming? No one knew that. Right. So come oh. on. And then the delays, like mm -hmm. we purchased $21,000 worth of uh, electric panel boxes mm -hmm. that were, so, we approached the city, the state, the inspector, all of them, said, that's what you need. As soon as we bought them all, we want to see them. What yeah. do you mean you want to see them? We've, you've, already see, you've already got the specs on them. We know they want to visually see them. So is there a chance you want to not use them? All right. It's just all that, that adds to us. Wow, there's this yeah. stuff, you know. I don't really worry about it. It's just going to happen what's going to happen. But I'm just saying there's a lot of delays and things and just stuff that you got in your mind that you, you're not thinking about relaxing or your uh, social life or a family or anything else. So this occupies all of our time. It occupies our life seven days a week, which 
this is a season in our life to do this. This is not going to be from here to the end of eternity. Right. Um, but to have started all this in such a short period of time, we've done all this in less than three years. Oh, yeah. All this. In my mind, I wish it would have been done in six months, but the whole world's different now, you know? Yep, that's so, right. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah, you want to ride back? All right, we'll okay. go back. Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, incredible tiny homes. Awesome. There you go, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, watching. Give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. We're going to show you more. We'll be back tomorrow with another video of what we're doing at Incredible Tiny Homes here in Newport, Tennessee. Say goodbye, Ace. He's a, he's a bye. Speak. You speak? Not in the truck, Dad. I'm not going to speak like, in the I'm truck. I'm trying to breathe. Okay. <laughs> bye. Bye.